Matt, second beginnings of the uh, series in crisis, so uh, you must be happy with that one. Yeah, very pleased. Um, you know, to uh, find yourself in that sort of situation wasn't expected, obviously, when we turned up this morning. Um, but to see the, see the side to semi reasonable um, score was, um, you know, a real good feeling. Does it mean more to you? Sorry. Does it mean more to you scoring runs when, when the chips are down, when the, the game's tougher? Are they kind of more important runs in this game of respect? Well, I don't know if more important, but um, you know, any, any runs for the team is, is important, whichever situation. Um, but to go in, in, in you know, bats and um, do well in, in a position like that gives you a huge amount of um, self belief and, and pride. Of, you know, it wasn't easy to fight um, your corner and uh, have some sort of success under pressure is um, certainly something that you enjoy doing and you take a lot from. Um, but, you know, I consider myself not you know, an individual player. Anything that I'll try and do is, is for the team. Um, and more importantly, okay, it was me today that managed to hang around, but, you know, I had fantastic support from Stuart Broad. I thought he played brilliantly today. Um, played some magnificent shots, and again, in a tricky situation. Um, you know, you know that, that could be a crucial partnership. Um, you know, this this unit is all about the team and making sure that we're fighting. You know, okay, it was me today, but it's been Collie in the past, it's been Morgs other days, it's been KP plenty of times. You know, we hope that we've now got a, a team that, in any situation, um, someone put their hand up and, and uh, perform. What was the part you think your total is Matt as a team? It's um, it's quite hard to tell if, if I'm honest. It looked, uh, you know, by the end there, it looked a pretty good wicket. Uh, sort of flattened out, didn't really swing that much. But as we found sort of this whole series, that the minute the, the clouds come over, it seems a different uh, proposition altogether. It starts swinging around a bit and nipping, you know, a bit quicker. Um, so, you know, we'd have to see. Obviously, we're below par. Obviously, we wanted more runs. Um, but. It all depends on how we come in tomorrow. We're going to have to come in tomorrow morning, uh, bowl well, stick to our plans. We've got bowlers we have a huge amount of belief in um, and a huge amount of belief that they can get us back into this game. Matt Stewart's had a, a sort of poor year with the bat. I mean, the, obviously, he's gone weeks at a time without batting as well, so there's a few <coughs> reasons. But he must have been relieved once he saw the ball hit in the middle of the bat and begin to sort his game out. Yeah. yeah um, I don't think I think relieved is probably the wrong word, but you know we all know what a fine cricketer Stuart Broad is, and uh, you know he's he's worked really really hard on his batting. He's put the hours in over, over you know the last short while, and um, he really <coughs> wants to uh, to score those runs and, and have that input down the bottom of the order. It's so important for us, and um, you know when he does play like that, it's absolutely fantastic. So hats off to him how he played. Um, you know, long may continue. We've well, talked about the balance of the side quite a lot. Five bowlers or six batsmen. If it were to be five bowlers, would you be happy going back up to six? Do you feel confident in playing there again? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm, yeah, I kind of consider myself a batter. You know, not just a batter keeper. And if I'm if I'm going to do that, I have to um, back myself to play anywhere in the team, one to eleven. Um, so you know, really, whether it's six or seven. Um, it doesn't really make a huge amount of difference to me. Um, you know, you have to adapt certain things. There are different pressures, obviously, um, different challenges. But more importantly for me is the balance of the team and making sure that that is right to win games of cricket. And uh, you know, wherever I'm uh, <coughs> told to bat, I'll uh, go and give it my best. Does the fact that Pakistan have collapsed a couple of times in this series already give you guys hope that you, <coughs> you can still nick a, a lead first innings? Yeah, look, I don't think you want to look uh, look back too much. Uh, it's a new game, you've got to take each game as it comes. Uh, we know these guys can be a good team. Um, and just because they've had uh, you know, a few um, collapses doesn't mean they're going to do it again. Uh, the reason why they, the other thing that's important is the reason <coughs> they had those collapses was the quality of our bowling, the quality of how we were in the field. Um, you know, if we can recapture that and do that again and put them under that same amount of pressure, then there's no reason why we can't take wickets tomorrow. But you know, it's going to be a huge amount of patience tomorrow. Um, as I say, sticking to our guns, sticking to our game plans as a bowling unit and a fielding unit and creating pressure that way. Were you caught on the pot by Riaz as, as a team? Did you know much about him? No, we didn't. We hadn't seen a great deal of him. Um, <clears throat> you know, he bowled well, but I think uh, we'll obviously have had, um, you know, we'll have... Um, so I lost my shadow for complete. <laughs> um, 
Having seen him, having seen him bowl today, and you know the batters had having had a look at him, um, was standing in good stead for the second inning. What was the dressing room like when you went out to bat for sixty or five? It was a little bit of shell shock in there and disbelief at what was going on. Yeah, I think um, you know I think there is a little bit of that. Uh, obviously, any time you, you win the toss, it looks a good batting deck. Um, it's, it's not the ideal position you want to be in, um, but you know this team at the minute has a huge amount of confidence, a huge amount of confidence that. Whatever situation we find ourselves in, um, we'll manage somehow um, to get out of it. Um, you know, for a huge amount of hard work. You obviously don't want to be in those situations too often, but you know there is a huge amount of belief that we will fight hard, come back, and put ourselves back in this game. Could this um, actually do you some good in terms in terms of looking ahead, obviously, to the winter? But <clears throat> having a really a game where you've got to dig yourself out of trouble and, and fight all the ways is, is this the sort of test you kind of need? Yeah, I think, you know, you don't want to look too far ahead. It's Test cricket is, you know, an absolute honour every time you play it, every game you play, every day you play. Um, it it's, was a good test today, um, but we want to be performing every day. We want to be performing at our level every day, the level that we expect and the standard we expect. Um, so from that point of view, you know, we want to, uh, we know we didn't, we didn't do that today. and. No, I'm sure we'll come back um, a lot better in the second inning. Okay, last year. The, the ICC have announced the uh, Player of the Year was uh, long list today. I don't know if you guys are aware of it yet. Uh, well, although Graham Swan's in the Test match short long list, he's not in the long list for Player of the Year. <coughs> now, we're all quite sort of mystified by that. I mean, when the England boys find out about that, do you think you're going to be a bit shocked that Swan is not in the long list for Player of the Year? Um, it's quite a hard question to answer because I don't really know what. Nine people. But yeah, look, all I'd say on that is Swan is bowled absolutely brilliantly. He's been fantastic for us. He's been, you know, it's been very, very obvious for everyone to see. Um, he's full of confidence. He's bowling beautifully. Um, and long may that continue. Obviously, the accolades come with with performance, and I think you know, um, Swan will be keen whatever. You know, whether he's been selected or not selected or whatever it might be, you'll be keen to just carry on performing as he is. I mean, obviously it's a bit unfair because it's the first you've heard of it, but do you, without putting words in your mouth, do you think some of the guys might be quite taken aback by it when... <laughs> <laughs> without putting words in your mouth. Well, you know, it's a shock. You can all write what you want anyway, so... <laughs> right. so Matt, you've, you've had experience in the past of um, having to concentrate in a game with a bit of a... Sort of Shitstorm brewing behind you, and obviously Matt uh, um, Stuart Ward has had that in the past week. Um, mm -hmm. What's it? How do you think he's come through that in, in the performance he put in today? And you know, does it concentrate the mind? I mean, to answer the critics in, in the way that he's done today. Um, yeah, I think <clears throat> again, there's only one thing you can do, and that's perform. You, know? you can only work hard. You can only, you know, there's no point talking about it or anything, you've just got to go and do it. And, you know, hats off to the body, that's exactly what he's done. He's gone, he's worked hard, worked hard at his game. He's, you know, he's, the amount of fight that he had in him today to play that innings was was fantastic. And he deserves all the plaudits he gets because it was a great innings. Um, you know, and, and that's, that, again, shows, um, you know, as I say, we know he's a, a hugely talented cricketer, but that shows the, you know, the mental toughness, the desire, all those things. Uh, I think he's answered right there. So, you know, he's... he's Fantastic. Okay, um, just, I was going to say that Alistair Cook's confidence must be sort of on the floor at the moment. Do you have to do a pick me up job in the dressing room? Um, well, I don't know about a pick me up, but you know we've all been there as cricketers. Um, you know, all Cook needs really is a bit of luck. He's hitting the ball beautifully. He's uh, he's a class player. We all know that. Um, you know, he just needs that, that bit of luck to change, and, and I'm sure that will happen. And as I said, he's a, he's a quality player. And, uh, you know, or every every man in the change room knows that it's a matter of time before before Cookie starts scoring huge runs. Rich Matt, you touched on Riaz before. Uh, just exactly what qualities does he bring to the attack? He looks a bit more slingy than Amir. Yeah, I think I think that you know the main thing he had today was almost the element of surprise um, that we hadn't seen a huge amount of him, um, and that, that played into his hands a little bit. As I said, we'll. Uh, having seen his action, having seen him bowl, having seen what, how he tries to get people out now, um, we'll, I think, have better plans for the second innings and that'll stand us in good stead.